One lap down. Okay, so I've just been to the Hobbiton set, which was uh, pretty amazing actually, and this waterfall's on the way back. Um, it's a massively high bridge. From there, there. And that guy's seriously thinking of jumping off it, so I'm not, not, I don't kind of want to pick up the pieces. See how small he is on the bridge, that's kind of madness. There's a sign that says no jumping from the bridge. This is time to look up the courage. <laughs> it's so lovely, I think he decided against it. I've been pulling him in bits out of the water. <laughs> Uh, you can't see what's under the water there, but there's rocks or anything. So, anyway, um, yeah, it's just, uh, Hobbiton, great place to visit, fantastic place to visit, really, really good. Uh, obviously, it's just a movie set, which is not real, but um, it's a good place. I, I think the only downside, I suppose, is it's a, like a guided tour, so you are taken on a guided tour of it rather than just being left to wander around it, which is a bit of a shame. But um, it's okay, it's good. Uh, worth the entry fee, to be honest. It's not something I say very often. Um, so, yeah. It's been an interesting week, really, because. Um, High rowers bike race was good uh, over the weekend. Um, it was a, an interesting weekend. So, kind of just um, getting towards the end of New Zealand now, which is a bit sad, but things move on. Uh, on to the next one. Tap, tap, tap. So, anyway, quite an amazing little waterfall this. Well, an amazing big waterfall actually. So, I'm sure there'll be more before I'm done. Well, it's my last day in New Zealand. Um, I've dropped the camper off and arrived in Auckland. And lucky me, I've got a Harley Davidson dealer right across the shop, right across the road. Um, so, yeah, quite a sad day really. Um, spent the last four days I think it was down near the coast and um, yeah <laughs> really really sad to leave New Zealand really uh, really really well uh, it's been an absolutely fantastic time um, yeah I don't know what to say really, because it's just, whatever I say will just sound really kind of pissed off about leaving, <laughs> which is kind of how I feel. 
um, but you know, it's where it goes. It's kind of can't stay here forever, unfortunately. Um, it's funny. I was thinking that in all my life, I've never wanted to go home from trips and holidays and adventures and days out and things like that. It's not something I've ever done. I've never looked forward to going home. I know a lot of people do, but I never have. And I really, I was curious as to whether that would happen in this trip. Uh, I mean, I've been away for, from home for what? what? <sighs> Getting on 11 months. <clears throat> and I still don't want to go home. I still could just do this forever. I could just keep travelling, just keep moving. See how many laps of the world I can do in one hit. Um, but unfortunately I haven't got the money or the resources to be able to do that so kind of just going to go back go back to work and earn some more money again I suppose but it's one of those things it's the thing I suppose that makes me happy in life is travelling, is visiting, is going places is going on adventures and going on trips and going to places I'm not a home person I suppose I thought I was at some point in my life, but I think I've, this whole trip has made me realise some of that I probably knew already, but that um, going on a trip, going on an adventure, going on holiday is what does it for me, what makes life the thing to do, what makes life exciting and thrilling and worthwhile. And the stuff you see, the people you meet, the places you visit, you can't compare that. What it's cost me for this trip is kind of irrelevant. It's not a lot of money in, in the grand scheme of things. Um, I'm sure people have gone on holidays and spent, you know, loads and loads of money. Um, I've done this on not a massive amount of money. And if I could find a way of having that amount of money every 12 months and just go in then that's kind of do what, what I do. Anyway, um, I fly out tomorrow, I've got a little hotel tonight, fly tomorrow, a bit of time travel because it's crossing the date line so just see what that does to my body clock. But New Zealand done and um, USA next which I'm not massively looking forward to, it's not, a, I don't know, it's not something I've thought about a lot, but anyway, we'll see next.